Climate change has had a very significant impact on the economy as a whole. 90% of our economic activities takes place along our coastline and these are more susceptible. 60% of our population also live along the coastline as well. So our people are very exposed to potential extreme weather events. The damage that we suffer each year is equivalent to approximately 2% of our GDP. Now bearing in mind that our GDP does not grow by 2%, this has caused us therefore to be in a position where we are always struggling to, to keep abreast or to avoid retreating in terms of economic growth. Caribbean countries are mostly affected by climate change, perhaps stronger than many other countries, even though they have not historically contributed to this phenomenon. Some of the problems include rising sea levels, which increases the salinity of fresh water and that affects rural and urban communities. The intensity of hurricanes causes floodings and affects agriculture and other difficulties for the population of the Caribbean. Prevention is very important, and investment in prevention not only will save many lives, but will also every dollar invested in prevention will, will result in seven dollars in saving. But most importantly, it will save the lives and contribute to the development of, uh, of the Caribbean. The Center of Gestion of Risk, as an instrument of gestion of local governments, is as a kind of situational room, by which one can make a more efficient gestion of information that permits to incide in the phase of preparation and prevention against the occurrence of a disaster. Se decidió eh, replicar la experiencia de Cuba a cinco países del Caribe. Eh, Trinidad y Tobago, eh, República Dominicana, Jamaica, las Vírgenes Británicas y Guyana. La comunidad tiene un papel clave en el rol que tiene el centro para capacitar y elevar la percepción de riesgo de la comunidad para que, frente a las medidas que se tomen, la comunidad sepa reaccionar adecuadamente. Tiene un rol muy fuerte en los puntos de alerta temprana, donde, que están ubicados en comunidades muy vulnerables, donde obviamente esa comunidad tiene que estar aún mucho más preparada que otras que están en condiciones más seguras para poder reaccionar ante un sistema de alerta temprana. We are in the hurricane season. Don't know when it will pass by. But if we to have a storm tomorrow morning, we are ready and we are well prepared. Hello Control, this is Papa Delta Zero Two Radio Check, over. I have lived and worked in four Caribbean countries and I have traveled extensively to this region. Not only they are exposed and they are affected by climate change and natural disaster, but they also have other development challenges that make their development more complex, like unemployment, less capacity for trade, less capacity for access to financing, and high indebtedness. Therefore, it is important that the international community supports them and recognize that they have vulnerabilities that go beyond only their geographical positioning and help them in their development path.